Hello, and welcome back to Lords of the Fallen. So I think I'm going to head to Skyrest, and since we're going through and reading these background bits of background lore on the right here, so the vestige of uh, Ethrig, a skilled warrior and accomplished leader of men, the Knight of Ethrig was the very first to take up the duty of Lampbearer, and with his newfound power he flourished. Overly so. In fact, in his increasing arrogance, he came to style himself a master of death and an umbral king ruling with cruelty from the crypt of Skyrest Bridge, later discarded by... Oh, it's... Has it moved? There we go. I think that's a bit of stick drift, that. Um, Where were we? He ruled from the with cruelty from the crypt of Skyrest Bridge, Later, discarded by the Umbral Light for a new lamp bearer, uh, Ethrig learnt too late that while one can channel the power of Umbral for a time, in the end the Shroud descends over all. He screwed up. <laughs> he got cocky and arrogant and screwed it up. Right. Let's see what we can see. Back here. I'm fairly certain I don't have any new the items. The described for them. harboring fundamental misinterpretations of Aureus's divine will and works. Ooh. Many of the Mornstead nobles entombed in this crypt followed their teachings, believing it was the light of Aureus, not its stonework, which maintained this great structure. And yet, despite their ignorance. Aureus has allowed the bridge to stand. Is that not a sign of his benevolence? Okay. Our holy work continues, we, Lampin, yeah, I don't but think Aureus, we've got any. the descriers of the dawn, were misguided, harboring fundamental misinterpretations of Aureus's divine will and works. Yeah, Many so of them can just believing, get and the yet despite the text. Sign? Yeah, get the bit of the text there that we missed because yeah it looks like they might all have something new to say to me since I've defeated a few bosses now that heretical umbral lamp and the dark crusaders are necessary evils in these dire times as are you it would seem perhaps our aims will align further or perhaps not don't think that's new but I can't believe in radiance judgment one thing we need to get as well, because I'm just seeing it here, there is the Pilgrim's Perch key that we can get. Intended for use on certain doors in Pilgrim's Perch. So we need a lot uh, to be able to get that. And we could also possibly get a different shield if we so wished. But I don't think they're much better than mine. Our Immaculate Lady will bring redemption. Have we got anything down here yet? Let's watch a step out there. Mornstead is a land awash in blood. And this guy's going to tell me to look for a captain. Even doubt, well, much as he might think. Captain. Randomly adopted a dog. Well, maybe that's because we defeated the dog lady. So these cells gonna fill up with like remnants of the people with uh, slain in order to get here. Is that it? Hmm. Question is now. Is the because what I'm wanting to know is if the blacksmith lady has arrived here. <laughs> Skyrest Bridge. I think that other one was the Pilgrim's Perch key, wasn't it? And I think that does open the door by the blacksmith. 
isn't it? If I'm not mistaken. And I think she's over there, right. We might have found her. In radiance, Just to check. Judgment. Pilgrim's Perch Key. Lady will yeah, bring that redemption. one in there is the Skyrest Key. And the one down here... Just so that we know. Ah, this just doesn't open from this side, so that's a shortcut somewhere. Right. Oh, it, it lags a bit when you're running through there. I'm noticing when you when you sprint full pelt, it's it struggles a bit. Ah, <laughs> you again. Gerlinde found herself a place to do a little business. She hasn't seen any other Growork since arriving in this shithole kingdom. But, Growork or human, sturdy armor and lethal weapons are a universal language. So she's a Growork. Okay. Speaking of business, Gerlinde has something you might be able to help with. She's looking for some items. This vining bag of bones left in Mornstead a long time ago. Galinda is undeserving of what she seeks, traveler. And self-centered besides. You would do well not to aid her in... You know full well the agony Galinda can inflict on you as long as you wear those manacles, Sparky. My name is not... Silence! Annoying as he is, Sparky does possess certain very rare knowledge, which he refuses to share. But he carves this knowledge in crystal, and now Gerlinda wants those crystal tablets to help in her runes missing. So, if you find any in your travels, bring them to Galinda, and she'll do right by you. Okay. As so I would not to Galinda, I will not reveal the locations of the tablets to you, traveler. Even upon pain of death. And here we go. Now we can access, purchase, sell, upgrade equipment. Ah, Ooh. You again. The Black Feather Ranger Bow. Ah. Interesting. Okay. So a... Let's have a look then. A flail. Ooh. Strength and agility weapon. Descaling on both. Uh, that has... Oh, it's a light shield, but not great protection. Probably better off just using the flame and sword at that rate. Black Feather Ranger Bow. E Strength, D Plus Agility. And it's a decent amount of damage. Not brilliant, but I'm imagining that you can probably fire it pretty fast. But the crossbow... The crossbow, D, uh, D Plus on Strength a lot of physical damage which is probably better for me because I'm more of a strength build yeah my my strength is 21 my agility is 8 however that said this doesn't scale in agility at all so this it's like yeah you don't get as much from strength but you get a lot from agility this you get a fair bit more from strength but nothing from agility but its base damage is higher. Upgraded even if you're using a strength build, I bet this is even better. Just because it scales in two attributes, that means you can apply two multipliers to it rather than the one, even, that, even if that one is the better, but you never know how it's going to upgrade. Maybe this only goes up to like C rank strength, uh, and maybe this goes all the way up to like S plus or something, I don't know. Either way, if we need any oak arrows or bolts or anything, or uh, oh, we can add fire damage to a weapon if we come to her. Could be helpful. What 
One thing I do like as well, so I think once we've bought these, we have infinite oak arrows. Um, because we have an ammunition stat. But I don't think we can increase it without equipment, maybe. But yeah, they have an ammo cost of one. Bolts have an ammo cost of two, so you can fire, fire as uh, you can fire twice as many arrows as bolts. Um, yeah, right. Let's let's get looking at upgrading. Paladin Isaac's sword. What can we do here? So I've got, looking along the top there, I've got ten somethings and one slightly larger something. So let's have a look at insufficient vigor. Okay, so I'm going to need more vigor. Hmm. I've not really looked at my uh, weapons until this point, have I, really? Apparently I've got some plus... Oh yeah, so apparently yeah, I've got, got some alright stuff. Um, yeah, if I get Paladin Isaac's sword upgraded a few times... So what, what I really need now... What I need now... Yeah, it's probably to go and get some, uh, get some, uh, what's it, some vigor. Let's go and acquire some. Um, where would we be best going? If I just want a few thousand vigor. Maybe the bell room? The vestige of blind Agatha. To Agatha, two things mattered more than anything else in life the way of a sword and the way of Aureus. Fiercely pursuing both, the latter led her to join a small, extreme branch of Orisum, in which, in an effort to gaze upon the face of Orius, the most pious would deliberately blind themselves by staring into the sun long enough. She gladly sacrificed her, cell, uh, her sight, only to see nothing but darkness in return, an outcome which, while not diminishing her swordplay, one, uh, one bit shattered her faith. In Mornstead, however, uh, Agatha discovered a new purpose, her blades flashing swift and deadly in the light of the umbral lamp. And yes, as I kind of expected, Summon the mega enemy. Ow. It's been a little while since I've fallen now. up got me then. Heal. No, dodge. Ow. Ah, you twat. God damn it. <laughs> he just keeps going, right? Yeah. 
I wouldn't mind going for round two. I can definitely see though why loads of people die to that one. It's a very tough enemy to, tr to just put right before the next resting point. It's definitely a troll from the developers. And the thing is, you can you can summon the like mega version of it to fight. He's got reach, hasn't he? The problem with the mega version is that it doesn't really stagger as much as the regular one. And it's a horrible place to fight it from this side going. is it worth that thing? It's 600 and odd. And we've got some upgrade materials. Should be a guy here. enemies down there. It's not really worth going, but we can go the other way. Ow, I was in the middle of attacking you. kind of tell that I should probably just like, yeah, I should probably get back to just using the lock on system. The combat system is definitely designed around using it. Right. Don't ask how it works, it just does. Right. Okay. I've got a good thousand or so of vigor. One thing I've found out about these is that apparently you drain them to get them to explode. You don't actually have to hit them, you can just drain them in the land. Okay. Getting a good number of souls now. Right, if I remember correctly, we want to go up here. Right, and then we go on here. Highly recommend using the lock system while I'm up here. 
Dread are we on? Not loads, actually. I don't think we need to emerge yet. But that thing just hit me several times, which is rather annoying. Right. Are there any enemies I could literally just drop on to, to get a bit of a head start here? I don't mind it. That would be a big one. I don't think there are any below me. I'm trying to think where they are actually. There's usually a couple down here that's not that follow you about, but oh well. Maybe some of them don't really spawn. Oh no, they definitely do. There he is. Be right behind me, I can bet. Ow. Oh, there's the big guy and his two mates. Does it? Hmm. Three point eight foul. The attack. Ow. Down I go. Ooh. That made a crack. <laughs> <clears throat> right. Well, I can get back to them. I'm hoping to... I, the thing is, that's the only place I can think of which has a... Ooh. I can challenge him again, but... We'll think about that. Right. A few hundred. Let's see if we can get that few found. Hopefully one of them just picked it up and nicked it somehow. I don't think that's going to be the case. The problem when you fall here is you can fall quite far. As we can see, we fell quite far. How far is that actually? Oh, did it put my souls up there, I wonder? Yes, it did. You can see them right there. Yeah, there's enemies right there. That's kind of creepy. <laughs> I 
how are we looking down here? Maybe rather than being at the top and jumping down, maybe we're better off coming this way. I'm not dead this time at least. They are though. Run 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 run. Heal. No, lock on no, lock on to him. Kick. Around, heal. Ah, son of a. At least I've still got me umbral one. Did he follow me down? So I was bigger on the floor then. He did. Well, that's one way to do it, I guess. And we've got some upgrade materials there. Right. I'm just going to go. In fact, is it still there? No. He's not even. Oh, he hadn't loaded in. I think that's the same guy we can avenge as well. Oh wow, yeah, he's still absolutely like a goddamn truck, isn't he? Pull out his soul. And then he just one shots me. <laughs> and flagellates himself. Wonderful. Right. Anyway, our goal of getting enough vigor to go and do some upgrade and buy some materials for the boss has been more or less successful up until this point. Ah, he's stolen it, has he? If we go away, he might turn around briefly. Lose interest. He did not. The, the attack out? The problem I'm finding is I'll be mashing the dodge button, but I'm still at, I'm getting caught in my like, attack animations. And he attacks a lot faster than you actually think. And he doesn't stagger easily. There we go. If you're just a bit more careful and don't try to get too much in, you know, you can... That, but... Oh, screw you for interrupting me then. I'll just get you a light attacks. Being a penis. Serves you right. And that is definitely plenty of... Um, that's plenty of vigour now. Rest, 
Absolutely. Okay. Oh, the challenge is there again. No, we're going to go and upgrade. We're going to upgrade. Hell, maybe if I upgrade and get me Mega Sword, I can come back and just, you know, beat the snot out of him with a lot more ease. You know, we never talked to the guy down here again, did we? My offer stand, after all. Okay. He's still wanting me a lamp. Let's upgrade Paladin Isaac's sword, plus one. Two out of our 13 fragments. Four out of 13. How much will it cost? 750. That's not. 1000, and it will now use our big chunky one. It now has over 200 attack power. And it scales into strength with a C, plus, and agility now with a D. So the scaling has. Oh no, that's the next level, sorry. It's now C on strength and D minus in agility. And does 211 attack power. But if we get two of those bigger chunks, we can upgrade it further. Um, right. I think we'll settle with that for now. Can't upgrade armor or anything, can I? Can upgrade the uh what have we got here then? So Oin Preacher Catalyst. Spell power. Oh, Agony's Catalyst. Doesn't scale from radiant power as much. Hmm. So Agony's Light is probably better now. But, the Iron Preacher Catalyst will eventually scale better into Radiance, and probably end up being higher, maybe. Hmm. I wish you could see like the upgrade trees on these things. But for now, that does mean that probably better than this are these. And that's also left me with a bunch of the uh, vigor to spend. Which I will definitely be going and getting some poison cures. So we can go to the lookout. We'll get some poison cures. And we will get some. Um, so yeah, we'll get some poison cures. Possibly some things that maybe give me some, um... Okay. Purchase. Hello again, friend. Cure smite, cure poison. I want a few of these. Let's just get four for now. Fire assaults, add fire damage to a weapon. That said, I mean, if we die, we lose our uh, materials anyway. But we've got just enough now to get one more level in something. Which, I'm going to go Radiance just to get that final level to unlock that new spell. And we can swap it out if we wish. But we've got it now. So that's in the bag. Uh, I think instead of a flare, we'll put it on, because I've not really been using the flare, to be fair.
I'm definitely going, at this point, I'm basically committing to the Paladin build at this point, aren't I? Right. Who shall we grab? I think though this guy has been lasting longer, I don't think he's necessarily been doing better, like more damage and things. I think the uh, the Wayfarer might be, be the better way to go. I think his magic's more effective against this large stationary target that we have. Right. We'll give it a go to end the episode on, and then we'll probably spend the next episode doing nothing but smash this if we don't make it here. Buffs are up. Wayfair is doing a good job of distracting. I'm seeing four figure damage numbers. Healing. There's po there are poison clouds around where the corpse and crap have dropped. Use the poison cure. Well, I think we're going to make it. Plenty easy enough. He's got a little bit of health left. Still got our umbral life as well. Absolutely no problem that time. <laughs> no problem whatsoever. Umbral, grab this memory. All is my child. Yes. Hands in my embrace. Oh, oh, may your flesh sustain my divinity. Bless you. Bless you. <coughs> <coughs> My child, yes, hands in my embrace. Oh, oh, may your flesh sustain my divinity. Bless you. Bless so, some you. guy thought he was Aurus or something, and he was divine, probably deluded while we're down here, and ate other people to sustain himself until he became that monster that we fought. Right. Anyway, now that it looks absolutely hellish here, let's interact with this. We'll upgrade our character some. We have enough, I think, maybe to do two levels here. Very nice. So I mentioned, yeah, I think we're going to work on our core. We're going to get some endurance and some health. So, well, stamina and health. Just buff our bars up 
get big bars going. Um, and I think then we could probably go into strength. I think that would be a good idea. We'll rest. And lastly, we will swap out. Where are we? Um, yeah, we can now put these poison cures where our previous poison cure was. So if we need anywhere, we're going through the swampy areas, this fen, bog, whatever it is. Then we've got them there on the hot bar. Right, excellent stuff. This has been Lords of the Fallen then. That was a giant fleshy tooth monster that we just beat the snot out of. And I will see you on the next episode where I am going to crawl through that hole. I'll see you then.